What is going on today, guys? My name is Kamikaze Redneck, bringing you another video on Farming Simulator 2015. This is that follow-up video again for the uh, other GMC uh, 3500 mod. I wanted to show you guys. This is the utility body version, like I was saying. Now, don't be afraid. It does have a gooseneck hookup and a bumper pull. So, they both work. Also, has a little bit narrower stacks in it. Um, as you can see, the collision really isn't there, which is nice. So makes it a little more convenient to move it around has the same kind of sound to it and basically just same everything as other truck but um utility body so. also i can see the, their feet sticking out i think it's funny but um here let's see yeah we have our um But look at this AI, it doesn't, like, he, he can, he act like, it's, I don't understand the AI in this game, they are modeled as, like, they're, like, a rock, or, like, a big boulder, they're, like, you can't move, it's so funny. But, um, also, let me know how this game is running for you guys, I ended up, um, just deleting a lot of the old mods that I wasn't using from previous videos, I think that's what was slowing down my computer, and making it, um, the frame rate drop so much. So I think that's what helped out a lot. But um, as you can see, here we go. This uh, <laughs> shoot, <laughs> gooseneck does work on this truck. Works very well, I must say. And um, I'm happy how it still turns. I like that a lot of the trucks they don't turn as well when you let off the gas pedal. kind of turn it has a little bit of a problem turning as you can see when you really like actually get on a gas pedal though but that's kind of normal like if you're gonna put that much weight on the rear end of this truck like that so it's kind of normal you're just putting a lot of weight on the edge of the frame so i wouldn't per se hold that against this truck so nothing bad but um Overall, I do like this truck. Handles really well. I mean, I, I really cannot complain for the, about this truck at all. I mean, just in the fact alone that we're like towing a, a flat bit or not. We have a have a gooseneck, and it's like a, it's a regular PJ gooseneck, and we're towing a fire truck that has to weigh a couple more than even just a couple of tons, probably like a shitload of weight. I would have to guess, but not, I know these fire trucks are very, very heavy. How did I, I think I got it stuck, did I? There we go. Okay. I gotta find a way to get down stuff. <laughs> um, oh, okay, I see. Trees are very. Trees can be helpful and they can hurt you a lot. <laughs> In this game, obviously. But, um. Yeah. Let's see here. Also, the pitch of this trailer, since it's high up, because we're right on the. Literally right on the ascent, basically a little bit higher than the bumper pole. So, this thing. I mean, this truck. I wouldn't say that it's not made for gooseneck. It's just a little bit harder to pull with a gooseneck trailer because, you know, the way it's mounted. But that's really the only way you can do it, because if you put it up in the utility body, then it has to be high. Like, the hitch, the hitch has to be really, really, like, really high. So, I think this was probably the best spot to mount it, because look at the trailer. It's still straight. Or a lot more straight than it would be if it was all the way up here. It would just collide with the, the side of the utility body, and it wouldn't work. Oh, you can see the person up in there. Oh, get that. Hey. So interior is pretty basic, but hey, you know what? I'm going to leave it alone. Anyway. Um, so let's see here. Um, all right. There we go. Three, two, one, and go. Now, both this one and the other one are always in four-wheel drive, as you can tell. You know, hook, they hook really good and pull, which I like. Um, 
have to see. I don't know if you can. I think that the uh, light bar back there turns on when you put it in reverse. But we'll find out later when we you know, stop. I can go in reverse. But I mean, as you can see, this truck has no problem. This, these two trucks are modeled with the LB7, I believe. Now, they must have some kind of work done to them. Because usually the LB7s are not too, too powerful. They're like... Usually the LB7s have, like what the red truck, red um, Duramax one that I have over here is, it's the, it's got about like 300 horsepower and about 520 foot pounds of torque, so nothing like out of the, like nothing like super califragilistic or amazing, but definitely enough for like the first generation. Like, it was more than what the, the uh, 6.5 and 6.2 put out by a lot, so. Yeah, but um, let's see, so we're just gonna do the normal stop here. But yeah, see that truck right there? Yeah, that was the the usual Duramax with the LB sevens had for power. But um, here, three, two, one, and go. So as you can see, they all have these multi trucks. Like I said, have four wheel drive, which is nice. They um, they also have some really pretty cool lights and um. Overall, like I said, I would rate both these trucks at like a 4.5, 4.7. Um, the only thing that I could actually say about it, oh shit, <laughs> is um, is that they, um, shit. Oh, I can't believe we just jumped a freaking car. That's so funny. That um, it they just don't have the interior, but I really don't care. To be honest with you guys, like I said, I don't really use it. I mean, I know probably some of you guys will use it, but um, I I myself don't personally use it, so I don't really have any use to see the interior of it. Like the only role in time and I go in the interior is when I'm doing a mod review and I like show you guys like the interior and I kind of rate the truck. Oh, I forgot. No collision. Hold on. I'm gonna flip it on this car. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, this thing. Come on, come on, get to. The, oh boy. Let's see if I can get it to the top of this hill, and then it will flip over. Oh, look at that! It flipped over. All right, there it is. There we go. I still can't believe we just went over a. Uh, went over a. AI car, that's amazing. But so, like I was saying before, we did our um, amazing jump there. I um I would rate this truck at a 4.5, 4.7 out of five. So really good rating overall. I really do like the truck. I think it's really cool, and I think it works very very well. It's very useful in what it's designed to do. gonna load the fire truck back up on this thing. I, oh, oh, there we go. Hit about there would be good. Right. There we go. And here, let's see if we can get back in the fire truck over here. Have a little firefighter. A little make sure everybody sees us. I um, if you guys want to see like a firefighting episode where we like go out and respond, we can uh. We can do some of that too. I um, that'd be a pretty cool video. I'd uh, I'd definitely see about doing that. But um, yeah. let's see here. All right. Let's uh, do all that, and we'll go back down over there and kind of just take off where we were. Now, as you can see, yes, the light bar does light up on the rear end, so. When you do put it in reverse, the light bar will light up. One of the things I like about this game is that light bar is really bright, which is uh, nice as well as these lights. So, they're very useful. Again, this the guy who made this mod has made it very well, made it very useful, which I do like a lot. So. Come on, whoa, 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 whoa. Shit, whoa. Okay. But like I said, um, not that it's not a good truck to pull the goose egg with, it's just, 
when you have this much weight on it, it um it can just kind of do that at times. It can kind of take the weight off the front tires at times, especially since it has so much power. It just like pulls it really basically. So. That's just the show. I mean, you can pull anything. With this, with this. I mean, it's not even really working hard to do this. It's already going like 60. So, but um. Here, we're gonna just stop it quick and I wanna see if I can just back the uh, fire truck up on the trailer a little bit. We'll start it back up for a sec here and see. Come on. Piece of shit. Oh wow! All right. Here we're gonna get this thing off the trailer. I want to see if I can back up a little more. There we go. I guess those rear tires just want to stay. Oh shit! It's propped up. This thing is like a massive animal. This goes to show you how heavy this freaking fire truck is. This thing is like. This thing is like making it so hard. But this is one of the reasons why I like reviewing with this truck, is because it just shows you the capability of the truck. Like, if you want to overload this truck with something like really, really heavy, like this, for say, example, this fire truck, and you want to tow it, you know, you know, this, you know, the vehicle that I'm reviewing can tow it. So yeah, overall, like I said, 4.5, 4.7 for the rating. Really good truck. And um, like I said, please feel free to like, comment. If you guys want to see um, like some fire trucks responding, or if you want to see more plowing videos as well, um, please feel free to comment or just like the video, and um, I will definitely do more of that. I, I do want to do some more plowing videos because I do have some more trucks. Also, I want to see, like I was saying before about the headrest with that other GMC, and just kind of see where the um, where exactly I would be at, and how, and if I could find another headdress for it, because um, if I could, that would probably be better than the one I have now, because like I showed you guys, it doesn't really mount that well. So yeah, but overall, guys, very good trucks. Feel free to download them. This um, I guess this is gonna be like the GMC um, kind of like mod week or couple days so i will be putting that up but um like i said guys please feel free to like comment and subscribe as well as check out bnb modding they are the main source of mods for me i am their official mod reviewer so like i said please feel free to check them out they have great mods anyway guys have a great day i will see you in the next video um the next video i will be doing i actually will be doing the um this truck over here the chevy k20 like monster truck i was meaning to do this truck but i kind of just decided to do those other ones because they're a little more useful this is more like a fun kind of like truck that you screw around with i mean not a bad truck as you can see it's got the i don't know i can't tell what your duramax this is if it's like a newer or older but um like I said, this truck is definitely more like a screw around kind of fun truck. Not so much. This is not going after like the whole like uh, work aspect. I don't even know. I don't think you can hook up a. There's no way you can hook a up a PJ to this thing. But um, let's see about the bumper pull. I don't think so. The hitch should be so high the trailer would be dragging off the ground. But um, hey, let's jump in this truck. And um, if anybody wants to post the um, link, if any of you guys know 
who made the yellow version of this truck that I reviewed, please feel free to post that link in the video. I'm not sure who posted it, to be honest with you guys. But, um... Yeah. Oh, it does. That's... Wow, they don't even have... That's so weird. Alright, guys. Well, anyway, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, I will be reviewing this Chevy K20 lifted monster truck. As you can see... The uh, trailer does hook up and work. There's no actual design, like, drop hitch for this thing. Why, I don't know. It just kind of connects to air, and it looks a little silly. But, hey, let's see how it works. So, anyway, guys, please feel free. Like I said, again, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for all your subscriptions to this channel. I watched the, the amount of subscribers go from, like, 250 to, like, 3. I think we're up to, like, 312, I want to say already in a matter of a month so i can't thank you guys enough for all the support you're giving me i really do appreciate it and if you guys have any sort of feedback comments or anything about the channel that you would like to say obviously you know not like just remarks or anything but like good like feedback any any sort of feedback or anything like that please feel free to like leave a comment below I mean, or if you want to do that, or if you want to, like, send me a message, whatever you guys would like to do, or email me, whatever you would like to do, please feel free to do it. Thank you again. I'll see you in the next video.